Dogs, welcome to Drake's Kitchen. Today we're going to be attempting to make crepe sushis. If that's not going to work out, we're just making crepes. So today we're going to start with a pan. You're going to fill it with two cups of milk. We're going to turn it on medium heat back here. We'll come over here later. Pour in that four cups of sugar. We're going to do about medium heat just so you guys can see how hot it is. You guys, I don't know if you have a gas stove or not, but if you do, that's how hot it is. With that simmer, you're going to get it to about a, a boiling point or a rolling boil. You're going to want that milk to, uh, you, you'll see it, it'll start to foam up. It's almost latte. Just watch. Alright, well that's doing its gig. I'm going to go ahead and get the other junk. Getting the strawberries, trimming them up. I don't know if I already told you guys, but we're going to be making like chocolate crepes, but a new way. So it's not chocolate crepes, it's going to be like a chocolate sushi. So it's going to start out like a crepe, but we're going to cut it up into like a sushi. Alright, so these berries are already washed. You just pick and then cut out the seat. Just like that. And it just comes right out. Super easy. If you want to get fancy, you can fan them out. Don't peel it off the stem, just roll it up to the top. You just slice here, here, here. Like so, and then you can fan it out. Well, I cut that one too short. So make sure you don't cut all the way through and you can just fan it out. Leave it at the top of the plate and it looks fun. We're just going to do slices because we're wrapping this into the sushi. So we've got to have it sliced pretty thin. That way we don't break through the wrap and puncture it. You puncture it, you ain't going to have no sushi, man. Look at them red gems. Oh man, this is our filleted one. We're filleting. Oh, dude. Cooked berries. Save it. do that again. So it's going to keep boiling through. Here it comes, that rolling boil, man. Going to turn down the heat some. Pull it off of the heat. Stir it up. Put a little more heat back on. We're looking for that rolling boil. That's what we're looking for. So now we're going to just simmer it some more, keep it on that middle heat, low heat. What we're doing is we're evaporating the moisture out of there. When you evaporate the moisture, it gets more thicker like a cream. The cream is what we're looking for. Because we're making a pastry cream to fill it up. And put some on top. It'll make it look nice. Trust me, guys. I know what I'm doing. I've only made this recipe never. Alright, so we got the berries cut up. We'll set those on the side. We'll start on the slurry mixture. While that's doing its thing, we'll start with the bowl. Start with three eggs. Technically, one egg, two yolks. Crack this bad boy. There's one. There's two. Separate the yolk. Don't waste your time buying egg whites. Those don't taste as good, trust me. Alright, so the yolk's going here. Wrong place. Put that somewhere else. Third egg. One-handed. Guys, it's really easy to do the one-hander. Just crack, and you literally take your hands, open, so the thumb goes up. Little thumb action. So it goes like this. The thumb pulls up. When it's split in half, it's easier to do. But when chefs do that, there's really nothing fancy about it. Stir this up. Looks good enough. It's about a third cup right there. Pour that joker in. Stir it up again. And then a fourth cup of cornstarch. This one I am going to use a measuring cup for because you put too much cornstarch, you're going to really have a clumpy, whatchamacallit, some starch of the corn. Fourth cup. Stir the starch of the corn inside the egg mixture. Try to get rid of all the clumps. Do the best you can. Stir, stir! What's it smell like? Hmm, it smells okay. I'm just giving you guys your smell of vision for the day. 
No, you aren't missing on anything special. There's no vanilla, no nothing in this, man. It's just egg, sugar, cornstarch. I think that's good for you, right? Come back over here. You got that fizzling up. We're going to go ahead and grab a whisk. In case you guys are wondering, this is a whisk. This is the thing with a wire contraption. Okay. I'm going to stir it up. Froth! Alright, so this is the fun part, guys. For handy dandy squeegee for some help and assistance. Get it all down at the edge, like so. And we're going to stir and pour. You got to pour or stir and pour at a slow rate, just like this. If you pour it all in at once, you're going to have eggs. Um, it'll literally come out like scrambled eggs in there. So you don't want to do that. So you want to make sure you're stirring. Look at that, guys. It's getting thick. Can you guys see it? Uh, yeah, you can see it this way, I think. Alright, so let's turn that heat down. Keep stirring. We're making some cream, boys and girls. Heat's off, see? And just stir. That cornstarch is making this sucker nice and starchy. The sugar will give it that sweetness we're looking for. Keep stirring. Just keep stirring. Just keep stirring. Alright, so we're going to take it over here. This is our cream stuff. Looks good. It's missing two ingredients though. Two tablespoons of butter. So vanilla de Mexico. About a tablespoon. And we're going to stir that in. Remember guys, this is off heat. No heat. This is our pastry cream, so you want it pretty thick. It's almost going to be like pudding. Except it's not. Alright, so once you guys finish stirring that in and incorporating it, we're going to go ahead and mix it up into a bowl. Dude, that smells good. Have you guys ever eaten Nilla wafers before? Those little like vanilla moon cookies? <laughs> um, yeah, this is exactly what it smells like. It smells like vanilla wafers. Really, really good. A vanilla from Mexico uh, makes it really good. Guys, that's super important. Do not use junk spices. Pay extra money for the good stuff. This is from Mexico, vanilla, straight from Mexico. It's real vanilla. Ingredients, vanilla, alcohol, alcohol, elético, como, whatever. It's in Spanish, but two ingredients, vanilla beans and alcohol. That's what you're looking for. All right, so our pastry cream's done. Enough. Slap this in here. Throw it in the ice box. All right, done with that. See how it's got like a, a pudding consistency? This will harden up in the fridge. And well, ice box for you guys. And we'll pop it in. All right, next thing's next. Pa pa. All right, we're gonna cut these bananas. These are pretty ripe bananas. They go good in the recipe. I like the bananas ripe. So this, these are gonna be like, I don't know, cutting them thin, sushi style. So we're gonna julienne the bananas. So first, cut off the junk. Junk off, junk off. Now we're gonna slice it 
thin slices just like this. Doesn't have to be perfect, but you do want them sliced. This is going to go on our crepe sushis. Set those on the side. You can set them with the, or leave them on this. I'm not cutting anything else. These are very fragile pieces. Alright, I had a stinking 10 pound bag of pancake mix, so instead of making like a crazy crepe recipe and you guys are like, what in the world is he doing? Let's just use a cup of pancake mix. We're going to use a cup and a half of milk, just pour it in there, boom, bam, done. Now we're going to add in a spritz of vanilla, then we're going to mix it up. Add in just a tad more of flour. It looks like it's a little too runny, so we'll add in a little more flour. It's about a mm, eighth cup, and then we're going to end up adding in another eighth cup just to get it at the right thickness. You don't want it too thin. You want to have it a good thickness. That way it's not like water cakes, and it also gets some sort of a texture and something you can work with, and you can roll it. Alright, we're going to go ahead and show you how to crack an egg with one hand. You literally tap it on the countertop, give it a little squeeze, and then you push up with your right, or if you're using your left hand, your left thumb, and then you pull down with your bottom three fingers. Super easy. And we're going to stir it up some more. Here's the thickness you want. You want to be able to pick it up and see a little bit drop off, so we're going to stir it some more. We saw some more clumps. Well, not we, but I did. So we're going to go ahead and mix it up, let it sit for about a minute, and then we'll come right back. Let's get the skillet on heat. For something like this, you probably want to use a very thin spatula so it can get up under the pancake. It's not the best to use cast iron, but I like cast iron, so I just say forget it. I'm using cast iron, and I'll figure it out later. We're going to add about a tablespoon of coconut oil. Drop it in that bad boy. Make sure it goes all the way around. Alright guys, red or black? Eh, that was a lame joke. This is the heat we're on. It's about middle to high heat. Turned on just a tad, you can see that smoke coming off. We're gonna get our plates ready because when this bad boy goes, it goes. Get some chocolate chip ready, because everyone knows everyone likes chocolate chips. And we're going to pop them on the pan. Give it another stir. Make sure everything's looking hot. And pour down. Make them crepes, so you want these big, thin, and wide. Fill up the pan. Alright, we'll turn the heat down just a tad. Try to get a lip under it, that's the key. Sometimes you just gotta let it heat up just a bit. You'll, you'll start to see it, you can kinda see how it's liquid right here and it's more dry in here. It's gonna get dry. You gotta let it get very dry, that way it actually has a texture that can be pulled up on. You'll see it start to be able to pull up. It also helps if you use a non-stick skillet, but like I said, I'm a cast iron boy, so I like to use the cast iron. It's old school, but it's my favorite. The pans are super heavy. 
Alright, so I'm not to rip it. Get up under it. Guys, crates are easy to do, don't overthink it. Thin spatula. Bring out the reinforcement so we don't rip it. Oh, I ripped it. It's okay, guys. Make sure we're lifted all up. This will be quick. Yeah, we made a crepe, boys. All right, so there's our crepe. Now we're going to take that, and we're going to go ahead and wrap it. We're going to put chocolate chips in the middle. Everyone likes chocolate chips. Man, it's already starting to melt. Go ahead and turn that heat off so we don't burn the bottom, because we're going to be working on this. Make sure we're not burning. Okay, we're looking good. So now that those chips had some time to melt, swat them down, spread them around. If you guys haven't noticed, the person I'm cooking this for, they like a lot of chips, so we're going to use more chips. Chip chips. Can't go wrong with chocolate, guys. Add a tad bit of cream cheese right in the middle. Cream cheese. A little slap of cream cheese. Get our bananas. Slap them in there. Bum bum. Bananas, bananas. Some strawberries right in the middle. Actually, scoot it just a tad to the side. You want to go more towards one side because we're folding these into sushis. Just put a tad bit in there. It'll be okay. A little bit of cream. Won't hurt anyone. Now we're going to take this puppy. Pick it up. Bottom got nice and caramelized. Fold it around. Bring it around town. Uh oh. Scrap. Remember guys, waste not, want not. Oh yeah, that's hot. Alright, there's a chocolate chip. We'll seal the deal with this. Seal the deal. Sold. Nice. Small knife. Slice it. Make sure it's sharp. Guys, like I said, I've, I've never done this, so we're about to unveil to see how this looks, if it's even tasty or nasty. So, before you guys do it, you guys will know if you guys should try it or not. So, we shall see. Hey, it doesn't look too bad. Uh, I've seen better. Uh, needs more color, man. Way more color. Alright, let's color it up. Some berries. Strawberries chocolate sauce going. So what you do for chocolate sauce, you guys have already seen this. You're going to do a couple of chips, a swish of milk to the microwave. Cook it a minute at a time. Take the nanas. Nana. Actually, you know what? We'll do something like this. Let's do something fun. Guys, do you know how to decorate this? Because I don't. <laughs> I didn't go to culinary school. I'm just guessing. Does that look good, guys? Or no? Oh! This is what I was talking about, guys. We'll go ahead and fan a strawberry. We fanned them. Alright, so now take some of that pastry cream, put it right on top. Because everyone likes pastry cream. And if you don't, it's your fault. You should like it. Chocolate sauce looks good, nice and bubbly. A minute, stir it around. Guys, there's two tricks to this. You can either use a fork to drizzle this, or you just eat a lot of mustard like I do and empty one of these out and put it in. That way when someone tries to eat mustard with their chicken, they're gonna get chocolate. Yeah.
make sure you just like it and do that. Oh man, camera drops. Guys, I gotta invest in a new camera. This camera ain't working out. It gets the job done though. Man, this is so hot. I'll let you guys see it. We're melting chocolate. Anything special? Nah, not really, bro. Well, actually, yeah, it is. Chocolate's special. Everyone likes chocolate. Except when you don't. Actually, there is one kid who I know doesn't like chocolate. He was my college roommate. If he's watching this, he knows who he is. Josh Keenan. So this, you can just drizzle it like this. Uh, make it look fancy, I think. That's it. It's easier to use a mustard bottle, guys. Alright, now we'll drizzle it. Actually, forget this. Let's just go like this. Let's use a whole bowl of chocolate. Dude, chocolate just good. It really does. Alright, guys. Thanks for watching. That is... Crepe Sushi.